The lower engine covers will need to be removed to access the motor mount. Also, with the six-cylinder engine, the air box and air intake tubes will need to be removed. For additional assistance with those tasks, please follow the links provided at the end of this video. Other components will have been removed for photographic purposes. You only have to remove what is stated in the article. This photo illustrates the driver's side mount for an 8-cylinder engine. Remove the 16mm fastener green arrow that holds the top of the mount to the engine bracket. Motor mount bracket is identical on the 6-cylinder engine. Looking down on the right side motor mount, remove the 16mm fastener green arrow that holds the top of the motor mount bracket to the engine bracket. This image illustrates a motor mount on the right side of a 6-cylinder engine. You can see the bracket and its position is almost identical to the 8-cylinder model. Remove the 16mm fastener that holds the engine bracket to the top of the mount. Place a wooden block between your jack and pan to protect the pan and jack the engine up a few inches. On the left side motor mount, make sure you have jacked the engine up enough to clear the upper stud of the motor mount, red arrow. On the right side motor mount, again, make sure the engine bracket has cleared the stud on the motor mount, red arrow. Looking from the bottom of the vehicle at the left side mount, remove the two 13mm fasteners, green arrows, that hold the motor mount to the subframe. Again, on the right side, remove the two 13mm fasteners, green arrows, that hold the mount to the subframe. On the left side, tilt the mount and pull it out from between the engine and the bracket and the subframe. Perform the same procedures on the right side. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.